my name is Christopher and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you like planning, lifestyle, organization, home decor, really this channel has something for everyone. So go ahead and click that little red subscribe button and while you're here you might as well hang out with me over on Instagram. I'll leave my handle right here on the screen. I post over there daily. It is a great place to connect and get to know each other a little bit more. Today I am so excited to bring you a fall haul and decor video. I'm going to do it though a little differently. Most of the time when you see those haul videos, it's someone sitting at the table just sharing what they bought and where they bought it. I'm going to do that, but we're not going to sit down. Instead, I'm going to casually walk you around my house and show you where I picked things up this fall and also how I've incorporated them into my home. I think it just makes it a lot more useful and a lot more practical. So we are going to go on a tour of my home and my fall decor. But before I do that, I have some exciting news. This video is in collaboration with several other YouTubers. So I'm gonna leave their fall haul decor videos linked down below. Go check them out, subscribe, support them. And those people are Glitter and Groceries, Halo Beauty, Lauren Gardner, Lindsay's Lifestyle, and Sarah Grace Glam. Go check out their channels. They're really great and you'll get more fall haul decor ideas from them. But let's go ahead and walk through the house. When you first enter our home, you will see and be greeted by our entryway table. This year I decided to replace all of my fall decor and I'm skipping Halloween this year and instead keeping it really, really simple. I found these amazing concrete apples and pears at Home Goods. I found them and they were all missing their stems. So I got them for a steal. Steven went out and found some twigs, we spray painted them black and we were able to make them look just like new. And I'm just thrilled with how it looks. Then lastly at Home Goods, I found this give thanks sign. And stepping back and looking at this entryway table, I just love the monochromatic look of it all. It really just goes. Then, just for fall, this isn't part of my haul, but I wound up some bunches of yarn that match my color scheme, threw them in a basket. They'll stay there all winter because it just adds a cozy touch. Now, on the other side of our entryway is our dining room. Once again, I really didn't do much because I just love the look of brass antique candlesticks and like keeping it really simple. These aren't new, but I already saw them at Target and they are identical from last year. So I picked these up at Target last year. They already have set them out. They look exactly the same. They're super reasonable. But other than that, I keep the dining room really, really simple. After our entryway, we're going to skip the living room and go straight into the kitchen. If you want to see the formula I use for setting up my tablescapes, I'll leave my video linked down below. I did a whole series on them. But for this, I simply went to Michael's and I found these really great gourds and pumpkins that look super realistic and are in muted tones. So you will see these throughout the house this year because I'm using them everywhere. And I just added one into this tray. Everything else was already here. So I have this antique cowbell, a set of platters, a marble rolling pin, a little plant, my cheese cutlery, and just a simple candle and lantern. And that's it. Keep it really simple, really clean, and it just looks so chic. On my countertops, I decided to pick up another one of those concrete apples, and then behind it, I picked up two cutting boards to layer behind it. The only other things I really added in my kitchen was this home goods candle. It's pumpkin allspice, it smells amazing. And then I found this wood and marble sign that says harvest, and I added it behind my sink, and I am in love with it. It, it totally matches the aesthetic of my kitchen, keeps it still very simple, but still really festive at the same time. Lastly, over on this side, I just grabbed one more of those Michael gourds and added it into this layered cutting board piece. This here is a really great trivet that I picked up at the store as well. And that is truly how simple I am keeping it in my kitchen. Everything has come from Home Goods or Michaels. And then in my breakfast nook, this is what I did. This is a great glittery pumpkin that I was able to find at Home Goods this year. It's like a brassy gold. The lighting is a little off right now, but it's just beautiful. And then probably something that I'm most excited about this year. 
is I found these three glass pumpkins at Pottery Barn. Last weekend they did have a 20% sale, but these are really big and beautiful. They are all hand blown and made out of recycled glass. And then what I'm planning on doing is filling them with fairy lights, all three of them, and I think they will just add a really cool modern touch. I was thinking of putting pillar candles in originally, but I do believe the fairy lights will look a lot better. I posted these over on Instagram and so many of you have already decided to pick them up. Now we're gonna head on into the living room. And once again, I couldn't have kept it any simpler. So on my mantle, I like a really clean look. So that deer head is from a store called Our House. And then just a bunch of those really realistic gourds from Michael's, some wooden candlesticks, and that's it all within the same like muted white and cream color family. Here on my entertainment stand, I found another one of those awesome marble and wood placards. And this one says thankful. And lastly, for $6 at Home Goods, they had these velvet pumpkins. So I picked them up in my color scheme. So this creamy white, a navy blue, and then lastly, this beautiful gray tone. Here on my coffee table, once again, it's a really simple arrangement of whites and creams. And I just added this simple gourd pumpkin. And over on this table, I went ahead and picked up another one of those glittery pumpkins. This one's in a much brassier gold tone and just put it on a stack of books just to give it a little bit more height and dimension to the rest of the tablescape. So that is what I did this year in our house. I kept it really clean, really simple, but it still definitely has a festive vibe. I wanted the house to not feel overly cluttered, and I feel like that's what I've done in the past. So by keeping my color scheme muted and all really cohesive, and just adding little touches into the decor I already had established, has allowed me to just really bring in the fall vibe without it being too overpowering. And that way I can just focus on my family and my friends. If you have any questions about any of the things that I bought or shared, I will leave as much as I can linked down below. Once again, home goods is a crap shoot. You'll either find it or you won't, but I'll definitely leave all the stuff from Pottery Barn linked down below and any other products that I can find for you. But in the meantime, ask any questions. I will leave this video like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends, happy fall.